Thank you for joining with me for the meditation of Lesson 50. For 10 minutes, twice today, morning and evening, let us allow this idea, I am sustained by the love of God, sink deep into your consciousness. Repeat it, think about it, let related thoughts come to you to help you recognize its truth and allow peace to flow over you like a blanket of protection and surety. Let no idle and foolish thoughts enter to disturb the holy mind of the Son of God. Such is the kingdom of heaven. Such is the resting place where your Father has placed you forever. I am sustained by the love of God. Here's the answer to every problem that will confront you today, tomorrow, and throughout time. I am sustained by the love of God. I am sustained by the love of God.
I am sustained by the love of God. I'm going to read this from chapter 29, section 8. Let not their form deceive you. Idols are but substitutes for your reality. In some way you believe they will complete your little self. For safety in a world perceived as dangerous with forces massed against your confidence and peace of mind. They have the power to supply your lacks and add the value that you do not have. So this reference is to idols from which we are released. And it can be special relationships or specialness. We invoke these substitutes for God's love as replacement for what threatens our ego's existence and which provide the illusion that our needs are met. Jesus asked us to sink into consciousness, which means going deeply into our minds. The way to prevent these thoughts from disturbing your holy mind is through your recognition of them. Without such acknowledgement, they simply remain. So see the idle and foolish thoughts of specialness in all its forms, asking Jesus for help in understanding what they are, and even more importantly, what they are for. I am sustained by the love of God. Whenever we are troubled, it is because we do not believe we are sustained by the love of God. A lovely way to end this first major section of the workbook is the reminder of our ultimate goal. This concludes the first 50 lessons leading to the first review. We have now seen how Jesus has given us an understanding of the journey, emphasizing the importance of taking seriously our study and practice of this course. This means, as we have discussed repeatedly, looking at ego thoughts and asking Jesus' help. This process clearly implies Excuse me, I don't, I'm having a problem talking. This process clearly implies the existence of our separated minds split between the wrong-minded thought system of separation, guilt, and hate, and the right-minded correction of atonement, forgiveness, and peace. Thus are we trained by Jesus to recognize these two thought systems, asking for help to exercise our mind's power to choose the teacher who alone will bring us peace. I am sustained by the love of God. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow.